Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So, I wanted to do something a little different today. If you saw one of my previous videos of things that I got for Christmas, um, I showed this. And, I mean, obviously it's all glue. Um, but some of the glues, like these two, I've never used before. This, as you can tell, is a glue stick and so is this. I don't know what the difference is, but... I thought it'd be fun just to kind of like open the package and sort of experiment with them together. Um, I have some scrap paper here if we want to kind of try it out, but I'm sort of interested in this one because it looks like a pen. Um, but let's, you know what? Enough talking. Let's just do. Let me make sure I'm recording. Hold on. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. All right. So let me just open this. Okay, so this is the one that I was interested in. So this is, it says, well, it's a glue stick pen. I don't know what that means. Let's just, oh my gosh, that is the coolest. It literally is a glue stick pen. Oh my gosh. I thought it'd be like a fine tip. I don't know. Can you see that? It's so cool. And how do you make it go? Oh, it's like a lipstick, so you turn the bottom, and then it goes up. How clever. That is so neat. So I guess you would have more control, I guess, of where you would do the glue stick, or it's just a smaller um, space, because when you use, like, a regular glue stick, you know, you have the big space here. Let me just see something. Glue stick pen. Oh, okay. It says for precise controlled applications. And then this here is the photo stick for small applications. So this is, yeah, this is like a regular glue stick. Um, dries clear, acid free. And then let's see, extra strength glue stick for large applications, which I'm pretty sure it would be this. Yep. So it's just a bigger version of the glue sticks. And again, it is permanent bond, photo safe, and non toxic. Um, so we have that. And then this memory book glue pen for fine details, use the narrow point tip. For larger applications, use the wider spreader tip. Okay, neat. So, I mean, these ones we pretty much know. I, this is just really neat. I've never seen that before, but yeah, that's really cool. So that one will be really interesting to use. And um, this is actually nice because sometimes when I am doing a larger area, um, when you use a, like a regular size glue stick, it's kind of like, I don't know, you have to, you know, keep going over and over and over because the, the tip part, this part is just so small. So I'm glad to have a bigger one like that, but let's just see what this is. So this is the fine tip and I wonder, let's just do a little experiment. Let's see how fast, if it's a fast dry or if it takes a while. So I'm just going to put some glue on. And I know with like the tacky glue or the Aileen's tacky glue. Oh, see, this one takes a while to dry. Hold on. Let's see. I'm going to hold it for a minute. I'll put this back on. Yeah, so it's not, it doesn't dry instantly. Well, let me just see, because I have some tacky glue here. I don't know, I just feel like this glue dries pretty quickly. Okay, so we have the tacky glue on this side and the new glue on this side. I'm just going to hold it for a few seconds while I do this. And just see what the... Uh, outcome is okay so this side 
see, it's pretty stuck already. And this side, it's getting there, but it's not. So um, it does have a nice precise tip, but you just have to remember that it is gonna take a little bit longer to dry. Which I mean, not a problem at all. Uh, for most people, for me, I'm very, uh, like I want to just hurry up and get it done. Like just hurry up and dry so I can move on to the next thing. That's why I do like this glue. Um, <laughs> only for the fact I'm just very impatient. Uh, however, this glue is, appears to be perfectly fine. You just have to wait a little bit longer for it to dry. Also, I'm just trying to think. I have... Um, these two, and this one I used to use all the time, and I haven't used it for a while. Let's do another fun experiment, just while we have this here. This is kind of like a glue review. Okay, so let's do, this is the um, Tombow Mono Aqua Glue. And I'm just gonna just put a little here, just for demonstration purposes. And then this, of course, the Fabri-Tac glue. And we'll just put a little bit here. Just for fun. This is all for fun and games. Nothing serious. I'm not saying that one's better than the other or anything like that because I use all of them. I mean, of course, all of them has a little bit of a different purpose, you know. Um, tacky glue, I think I use most, most of all. The Fabri-Tac, um, I usually use it, you know, obviously for fabric. Um covers things like that because it is a lot more expensive than the tacky glue because the tacky glue i mean you get a big bottle for you know, the really actually the really big big ones are like three dollars 297 something like that and then these i believe are like 97 cents and then the ones that are a little bit bigger than this i think they're like a dollar 97 so i mean overall it's a really really inexpensive glue but a really good glue like I love it whereas you know these can be pricey um, sometimes you can get a good sale or get it on sale like um, at Michael's when they have the 40% off coupons I always will pick one up um, Walmart actually I found it's usually around $9.97 for the bigger bottle um, so that's a good place to get them as well and um, Amazon, every once in a while, they'll have some that are a little bit cheaper than normal. But you have to always kind of look. Um, but yeah, so I suggest Walmart if you have a Walmart. If not, if you have a Michaels. Um, or even, I'm sure like Joann's or Hobby Lobby must have it. And if you have coupons, get it when you get coupons. Okay, so this is... Wow, that's not really that stuck. This is. This is about to rip. That's so strange. I wonder if I didn't put enough on here. Like it's sticky, but it's not. This one is. So this, but I kind of talked a lot. So I don't know how fast this glue actually works. Of course I was talking. That was like the whole point of this thing. <laughs> to see how long it took the glue to dry. Oh, now see, look, the glue here is dry now. And that was this glue here. So when it's dry, it's a really good dry. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do one more time. And we're just going to see how fast this one dries because I completely, you know, I don't know. My head was in the clouds because I got to talking and you know what happens when I start talking. I forget. All right. So let's just give it a few seconds. Okay. This time I can't forget. So let's not talk about anything in the meantime. Well, let's just see what it is now. Okay, nope, still wet. Where I feel like the tacky glue would have already started to, you know, grab hold already. Okay, so it's starting to grab. So this one, it's, um, I guess it's like this kind of. Like this is almost instantaneous. I mean, don't hold me to it, but it's really quick. This is a good runner up. And then this one will definitely stick. It just takes a little bit longer. And then this, I think because of maybe like the application, what you're using it on, um, it could probably have different results because normally I use this when I do like the fabric on my covers and um, it definitely grabs fabric very fast. 
because it is a fabric glue. So maybe that's the reason why it doesn't grab paper as fast, but it will grab paper because once it's on, like it's on. This is a really good, strong glue. Um, but if you're in a rush and impatient like me, this is my first choice and my second choice. And this is a great runner up, but I'll have to use this on things where um, I don't need much patience. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I, now that I'm thinking, maybe for the covers, um, like when I put the fabric down on the um, file folder, usually I'll use like a glue stick. However, maybe I'll try some of this just around the edges too, because technically it doesn't need to dry so super fast. Um, and of course I use the fabric tack on the inside of the covers, but you know, that's definitely, um, a good place for it. But of course, also if you're making ephemera and things like that, and you don't need to stick it in a journal right away, this is perfectly fine, especially with a nice fine tip, um, use it on your ephemera. And then, you know, cause well, I don't know about you, but normally I'll make some ephemera and I'll set some to the side because I'm going to sew it later. Um, but by the time I get to the sewing, I'm pretty sure this will probably be dry. So that's what I'll probably use this for. Maybe the outside of the covers and ephemera. Um, I actually should get more of this because I completely forgot about this glue. I used to use it all the time and then I stopped for a while because I think my Michaels stopped selling it or they were always out of stock. And when I was trying to rearrange my desk the other day, I found it. Um... And I feel like I've had, I have another one somewhere that's not open, but I just don't know where that is. But I think next time I go into Michael's, I should pick one up uh, just to have it. I should also check on Amazon to see what the price is as, you know, compared to Michael's. So I don't know. So yeah, so that's my little impromptu glue review. Uh, I hope, you know, you got some good advice if you were looking for glues or what glues to use. Uh, but now you know my favorite glues and um, definitely share your favorite glues um, with me because I'd love to know what you use. Oh, you know what? I also use um, the Art Glitter Glue and I always had it in this bottle, but the top broke. And I haven't um, switched out the top. So I haven't been using this one much. Uh, I do like it. And it is a pretty quick dry. The only thing is it is so super expensive too. Um, and they don't have this stuff at Michael's. So it's not like I can use a coupon. And uh, when I do get it, I usually put it for my birthday or Christmas. And, you know, my family gets it for me. I have gotten it on Amazon before. But like I said, you can't. Well, I don't have coupons to use on Amazon. Um, and it does get a little bit pricey. So this is almost like that special occasion glue that you pull out when you have company. <laughs> so, but that is another glue that I do use, um, just not as often as, um, you know, these glues. So, so definitely let me know what your favorite glue is, what you like to use in your everyday projects and, um, let's compare notes. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.